Hello, everybody, and welcome to this cast. Um, this is just another cast, random cast that I come up coming upon. Uh, this one was not found on StarCraft, or sorry, SC2Replayed.com, and it was just one of the popular replays that was on there. Uh, it, we have Domlin as the Red Terran spawning down here on the south on Desert Oasis, and the Protoss Def Jams in the blue up in the north. I haven't seen the game, I just know that it's been downloaded a lot on this SC2 replayed site. I believe these are diamond players, but I'm not sure. So let's see how this match goes out. So far, everything's seeming pretty pretty standard, as usual. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of variation you can do in the early game. So we've got the 10 supply depot and the 9 pylon up here. Chrono boost a little bit early, but really not a huge deal. Actually, he chrono boosted really early and kind of wasted about half of it. And he does chrono boost a second time, though. It looks like he's going for a 12 gateway. Pretty early. He could have saved up a little bit, kept getting another probe going. He saved an earlier chrono boost and used it afterwards just to kind of keep things nice and nice and smooth. And Barracks going down as well for the pro for the Terran. I think there is a little gap here, so the probe should probably be able to sneak right up there and scout. Also, the barracks placement does indicate there's not likely going to be any kind of tech lab reactor going down. Getting his refinery down as well, so will probably see uh, barracks and factory builds. Gas going down for Protoss as well. And I don't see a second... Oh, there's a second pylon. Sorry about that. So we see the Cybernetics Core going down here. As Desert Oasis is a really large map in terms of ground, so you're pretty free to tech a lot early game, unless there's some kind of sneaky proxy going on up here or near your ramp. And the probe does get in just fine. Orbital Command going down. I'd like to see a little bit more probe harassment on the SCV. He hasn't really attacked at all. He's just kind of been running it around, being kind of useful in seeing what's going on, but it should maybe... Yeah, there it goes. And here comes the next supply depot to finish this wall off as it tries to get around the SUV. Orbital command is up. Down goes the factory. And the first stalker. Always nice to have stalker really defend against any kind of uh, marine or hellion or reaper push. But it is kind of weak against the uh, marauders, which are equally popular with Terran. Second factory or er, refinery going down, probably end up seeing a pretty heavy mech build here going. As that's really the only reason that you need that much gas, as Marina Marauder medic is extremely gas inexpensive, so you can get that second refinery pretty late if you go in that route. So this is a good a good idea that it is in fact a mech build. Two gateways getting uh. Getting his warp gate down. Looks like he's gonna go for maybe a uh, four warp gate build so far. Doing pretty good with pylons. That one could have probably stayed a little bit later, but I guess no reason to delay when you have this kind of waiting game with the warp gates. He is keeping this uh, Zelnaga tower. Lets him know about this SCV that comes in. Gives him a good, nice big area around here. Let him know when something happens. When something is coming. Taking a quick peek at the middle one. Doesn't want any kind of drop going through his base. Domlin, I'm unsure of the use of this missile turret early on. Maybe he's afraid of void rays, but he... Yeah, he has scouted, so getting that early of a... Uh, getting that early of a missile turret is kind of a waste of minerals, really. He could have used that many on just an expansion or any number of things. Early reactor, too. I don't really like that. Interesting bunker placement. He's playing very defensive. Looks like he's going to turtle up quite a bit here. And a little lifting off tech lab. Kind of wasting his his money here, not really building anything. Getting a Banshee and Hellion. Actually, not sure why he's getting a Hellion here. As Pro oh, I guess he can't really quite tell what Protoss is getting. And... Looks like three gate and robo actually quite late. Does have warp gates done. He is getting hallucination, which I like. 
hallucination, I think, is fairly underused in these games. Uh, it's fantastic for scouting or any number of other things you can use. Uh, things going okay. I like the Def Gems is keeping control of these watchtowers with his uh, with his probes. They are very important on this map. I would actually like to see one of them stop by this uh, middle one instead of this far southern one, as you can see a drop coming in instead. And this far south, uh, far, uh, this far right side can be seen just by putting a pylon right here on the cliff. You can see everything that comes out through here. And a nice little push, almost a Zerg style push with five Marines and a Hellion. I, I can't imagine that this army would have any kind of an issue, especially with this ramp here. He can just force field and defend everything. Banshee coming in, does not have cloak yet. This pylon just falls easily though, as he's got the extra range over the stalkers. And accidentally shooting his own assimilator there. Nice little banshee harassment going on. Can't, shouldn't be able to do very much aside from that as that pylon is in range. Should pull this, there we go, pulls his banshee away. Pretty poor macro so far on the map. I would really like to see Terran push out and take an expansion. I mean, he's just not being very aggressive at all. He's got this banshee, he had this banshee going at least. I think it died. But, uh, really no reason to stay huddled in your base when you take an offensive like that. I mean, if you get, go Banshee route, you do basically free yourself up to an expansion because they're going to have to stay in your in their own base and defend instead of attack, or risk losing many, many probes. Do we have any kind of researches going on? No, no cloak, no siege, no stim, concussive, or health, or anything, really. Just throwing down more barracks and finally getting a command center. Getting a little bit supply blocked as well, kind of early in the game. Uh, three warp gates going, I believe it was Immortals that I saw, yeah. He is falling to the one hockey, uh, 1A attack move situation there. Fending off this little drop here. No problem whatsoever. He is staying Hubble in his base, getting a few cannons, I do like that. He is finally sending an observer out. Is Terran getting any upgrades at all? I mean, he is getting siege. That is about it. He's got a lot of missile turrets going here. Really, not any need to have this many. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five hundred minerals right there that he just threw away for nothing, really, because Protoss isn't going for any kind of drop yet. And you have scan as a Terran, so you can just scan and see what they're doing if you need to. Little push here, really pointless push to go up this eastern side of the map. I mean, he, he did he see that he had an expansion there? Yes, he did see the expansion, but really a terrible push there. And there's a hallucinated Colossus going around. Give him a little scary. He does have robo units. A little nice clip drop here to take advantage. He does park his siege tank a little bit too close, and it's going to fall down easily, do virtually no damage. Oh, doesn't fall yet. Kind of a mistake there by the... Oh, the point defense drone goes down. Sorry, I missed that. I uh, would like to see a sentry come down here, as sentries are able to attack the point defense drones without defending anything. Does throw away a stalker to the siege tank. The siege tank manages to get away. Surprisingly enough. I thought I was going to die right there. Very surprising. Bit of a mistake by the Protoss, I believe. He is pushing here. Uh, supplies are about even. Uh, finally getting Orbital Command here. Siege Tank does have Siege. would like to see a Siege on this cliff here. Even though he does have the ability to see up, so he, can, he should pull it back a little bit. And a little bit of a mistake there. Right clicking away. Still not sieging this tank. There we go, finally sieging the tank. A small force field that really didn't do a whole lot. I don't know if they don't have enough energy. No, they've got plenty of energy, so just generally bad force fields going here. Uh, medics, kind of staying a little bit too far away from the Marines. Would like to see the siege tank either repaired or sieged or something. It's just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, he does have Raven as well. It is. 
fairly low in energy. Command centers are exceedingly high in energy. I would like to see him use two or three mules here, or scan. Just do something proactive with it. As once it reaches 200, you really are wasting energy there. A lot, huge lack of hockeys here. And a little bit of action going on down here. Terran decides to push out and completely obliterates Protoss army. Which is expected of a uh, mech army. A little offensive pile on. Macro starting to slip a little bit for both players. Terran keeping kind of on top of it, queuing a few units, but that's okay. And there goes a few mules and a lot of SCVs. Getting Ghost Academy down. And... Terran looks like he may be getting a bit more supply blocked here, as he is 84 supply. Let's see if he drops any supply depots down. Nothing yet so far. Just continuing to build units and macro away as best he can. I actually would like to see... Uh, Colossus for the Protoss right about now, as, I mean, Immortals are good against the mech, like a siege tank marauder, but they die really, really fast to marines, which still no bio upgrades at all, which is bizarre to me. I mean, the health pack and the stim pack would be an enormous help to him, especially since he's got medevac, so he can stim and take virtually no damage at all. Viking going down here. Probably to protect against any kind of Colossus he thinks might be coming, which is a good idea, as Colossus is popular. And Protoss getting his third expansion up. Terran being extremely passive, not really doing much of anything. Forge getting his armor. Would really like to see some kind of transition into High Templar or Colossus, as he would really benefit from either unit, really. I would like to see High Templar more than the, uh, more than the Colossus, just because deals with the Raven, deals with the Marines, deals with anything that he has. The medevacs, the feedback on them, he just completely destroys every, everything that uh, Terran has. And... Main is almost mined out, really slow, really lacking on Chrono Boost here, both have 100 energy. Could use uh, a lot of that, just churn out a lot of probes right here, get this expansion saturated really quickly. Oh, sorry about that little attack going on down here down the south. Another little push out by the Terran, and he falls back again. And he just really does... Oh, and a little bit of blunder there. Loses Marine and Medivac. Oh, why the Protoss decided to just leave those there? I don't know. And Protoss scouting the island. Make sure Terran's not up to anything. Two extra command centers going down here. I guess if you've got the money, you may as well. Real lack of SCVs going... I guess he does have his main virtually mined out, though. He can transfer all of those over. Getting supply blocked again. Does he have still no bio upgrades? He's got tons and tons of marines pumping out. A couple of ghosts coming out, but no upgrades at all. And running a Hellion in his army. A little bit of a mistake there. Free Hellions are always nice. Uh, this is a fairly scary force. He does have EMP available here. Seizes at the bottom of the cliff. Would like to see him move his medevac or viking up a little bit, give him a little extra sight. There you go. But not too far forward, just a little bit. Give your siege tanks a little, a little bit of an extra range here. As you can see, goes way out here, and which is normally a little bit beyond your sight radius, so bring, bring a viking along, or some other air unit along. Gives you a little bit of a sight upgrade. And he has an empty warp prism here. Don't really see why he needed to do that. He can't really warp in probes up there. Big attack here by the by the Protoss. He does have a couple of hallucinated Colossus out here, but doesn't seem like the Terran really cares about that. He's not micro at all. Would have liked to see the Marines focus fire down on these mortals first, though, as they are the bane to these siege tanks, which are dealing a huge amount of damage. Would have done a whole lot more. He did get an EMP off, but it wasn't that great. Meta, meta back continuing to heal his Marines as they take out another mortal. Very close fight. Probably take out. And here comes some more reinforcements from the Protoss. And he'll be able to repel these marines, no problem. Pull back and ghosts here, no reason to lose it. And he's got a lot of stray viking medevacs for some reason. I don't really know. 